Hello everyone, and welcome to a special little Team Fortress 2 video where we will be uh, showing off how to do the Flying Engineer Slam Dunk here on uh, Pass Warehouse. This also works on Pinewood. A uh, little bit of foreshadowing for the video I haven't started recording yet. Uh, but yes, I will be showing you how to set up um, one of the oldest glitches in TF2. Basically, ever since uh, this bad boy, the Wrangler, not the Geiger counter specifically, uh, was added into the game. So, uh, yeah, let's begin here. So I already have my bot friend here. He will be helping us because we need to get the ball, but the ball is kind of annoying because not only can you not go through your teleporters, uh, but you also cannot shoot yourself with the Wrangler. You cannot hold the ball and shoot the Wrangler. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Thank you for also not picking up the ball, because your weapon is an holster. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and fix this here. There we go. Gosh dang bots. There we go. Okay, so uh, I already have my sentry gun and dispenser set up. You'll want to set them up just like this. You can also set them up um, over here, up there. Anywhere where there's a ramp about this degree angle, it can be steeper, can be a little bit shallower, but uh, you shouldn't make it too much shallower. Um, we're going to go ahead and set up our exit first. I know, it's so backwards and weird, but yes, we will want to set up our exit first, and then you'll want to set up your entrance right here. This will make a teletrap. Other teammates can get caught in this, they won't be able to move out of it, and uh, it's really silly to get them stuck in there. Yes, these have been in the game a long time. Because Engineer is a very broken character, as you may or may not have learned. So yes, now we are stuck in our teleporters. If we shoot ourselves with the Wrangler, we're not going anywhere. But if we uh, damage ourselves a little bit more, uh, you, we might be able to see, if we hold out like this, the Engineer is making, like, moving, like he's like he's walking. What the, why would he be doing that? ourselves more here. And trust me, you'll want to probably get your health down about a couple times, and the way your Wrangler is facing is the way you'll be going, but that usually only works if the sentry is behind you. But yeah, don't expect to place the sentry gun like here and shoot yourself up there. You will just face plant into the wall, and it's a bad time. Uh, and especially when you're doing it with this, you can hit this. You can hit that there, and if you're really bad, you can even hit that. I've done it a couple times, it always sucks. Uh, it's really kind of lame. So, let's go ahead and just put our health down one more time here. And uh, before we go on for a little bit of a little bit of a takeoff, uh, this glitch also has another interesting little feature, where if we go ahead and uh, do this... Oh, oh. That bot 2 is heavy. Uh, where is that? The teleport. Here it is. Oop! There it goes. You might not have seen that. But yes. There we go. Yes. You are building so much momentum that the second anyone tries to land on your head, they will instantly just... Whoop! Bye, medic. And that's actually a good way to test our launch trajectory here. It wasn't too bad. Now if we kind of get ourselves more facing this way, shoot ourselves a little bit, uh, and go ahead and spawn the medic on our head, I'm sure that we can launch the medic pretty far. Oh, there he goes! Oh yeah! Alrighty then, so let's go ahead and get our heavy friend to uh, throw the ball at us. And let's go. Woo! Bang! And there we go. You just successfully went from that side, or that side of the map, to this side of the map, and like, maybe like less than two seconds? Probably, probably somewhere about there. Like, a sentry gun will not be able to cheat you while you're going by. It's kind of amazing. Um, and Pinewood is even better because it loves to do trick jumps where you'll just slide off like a roof and it will be just amazing and I love the map. Uh, too bad my friends are too lame to help me make a video on it. <coughs> uh, no, no, I'm not passive aggressive. Uh, so yes, that is the glitch. I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, people are mean. 
They'll snipe you from over there because sniper's a broken class. I know that sounds weird, but I will not rant your ears off about it. And, uh, yes. So, one thing you can also do to make your life a little bit easier uh, for getting back uh, if you don't want to use the jag, even though I do recommend it. You can use any any wrench, even the gunslinger. Uh, but I'm not a personal big fan of uh, using it uh, for this. And the Eureka effect is nice because you can just do this. You don't even have to wait for the teleporter. Make it ourselves for lift off here. And you can also do other cool things. Like if there's a dude just like really free to playing it up and sitting there. You can just be like, woo! And even if there's sentry guns protecting him, you just smack him as you land, and uh, it's great. Um, I personally like pe uh, Warehouse 2 to do it in, because throwing it in the goal can sometimes lead to you missing, and then you have to do this, because if not, you don't look cool. So yeah. And I think that'll just about pin things off here. Which is warp step one, warp step zero, for the ball, my friend, and whee! Oh yeah! Cool guys, don't look at explosions! Because they are. Mission begins in 10 seconds.